Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, mistakes were made. Uh, this was actually a customer request to, you know, do a little bit of a video on this. Uh, the daughter pulled up to the pump and, you know, gotta go green. So she used the green nozzle. That's diesel fuel. This is not a diesel vehicle. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. No, it doesn't happen to the best of us, but uh, it happens to most of us. So we'll just say that. Uh, so this is not as big a deal as it would be if as you were putting gas in a diesel vehicle. Um, I asked her how much fuel is in it to begin with, and she said, eh, not very much. She filled it with diesel. So what we're doing now, it actually would start and run, kinda. And it doesn't smell all that bad, but they brought it up here on the trailer and we're pumping it out here. Most of the time, this is a pretty straightforward deal. You find a place to unhook it. This is a 2014 Jeep. And right back there is the fuel line going up into the engine. And I just unhooked it and put a hose on it. We've got a tank here and we're pumping it out. Unfortunately, getting the thing to get the fuel out is what the big deal is. We've got our Snap-on Zeus plugged into it right now. And in functional tests, you can energize the fuel pump and run it full force. Uh, anymore, they control the fuel pressure with voltage instead of, you know, a vacuum regulator that tells you exactly what the engine needs at that moment. It lets the computer do it. I'm, I'm just not going to go any further on that deal. But, you know, you can engage the relay and pump it out. I smelled of it. It actually does smell like gas. I know you can't here sniff it. Oh, we're out. Okay. Let's shut this off. Didn't pump very much. So, yeah, maybe she stopped herself. It only pumped out about five gallons. I guess he fixed his battery clamp problem. If it works, it works. Uh, let me check and see how much fuel is in it now. Yeah, it says it's got a full tank. Oh, it timed out. That's what happened. Back over here, re-engage the system. See, this is how you turn on the fuel pump and we'll double check it again. A little bit of walking around in this video. Yeah, we're pumping again. Make a mess. Don't panic whenever you do something, you know, that's uh, uh, not good. But this is kind of a small mistake. As mistakes go, this isn't a big deal. And like I said, every one of them is different. But this one is fairly straightforward. It was fairly easy to get to the uh, fuel tap. Oh, not out the fuel tap. Take the fuel line off and just straight run it into a jug here. We're going to sit here for the next probably 30, 45 minutes. Re-engaging the fuel pressure and pumping out four gallons at a time. So... Told you I'd made a video. You got it. Okay, we pumped the tank all out last night and I went and got some more fuel and I poured about a half gallon in there and we're gonna turn this on and pump out that amount. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hook everything back up 
and pour the rest of my fuel in there and we're gonna take it out and drive it, see how it runs. Okay, I haven't started it yet. We'll see how it starts. Not too bad. Of course the codes are on, it's got a code in it. Uh, I had the key on while the air temp sensor was unhooked. Uh, but I'm going to shut it off, turn it back on, clear the codes out of it and take it out for a test drive and fill it up with fuel, good fuel this time. Okay, took this thing out and test drove it. It really didn't like to shift very well. We, fig we figure since it was driven from the fuel stop to home, running progressively worse all the way, it might have tried to adapt the shift to how it was running. So we brought it back, we cleared all the shift ad adaptives on it and took it out, test drove it again. It was much improved. We're gonna take it out and test drive it one more time to make sure that it's good. And then we're gonna send it on to the customer. This is the lesson. Just because the nozzle fits, doesn't mean that's what goes in it. The diesel nozzles are supposed to be bigger. The unleaded nozzle is a specific diameter. And then the regular fuel nozzle was just a little bit bigger. And then the diesel nozzle is supposed to be just a little bit bigger than that. That doesn't mean that the station will put them on correctly and color does not matter. Just be mindful when you fill your tank. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.